I have a friend that he said to his wife that she's rebuking him all of the time. So he told her, why are you all of the time rebuking and insulting? So she told him, listen, you're so arrogant that I cannot say one word without you being insulted. I'm not rebuking you, we're just talking. That's how people talk. So for us, it's like every word you lose your mind and you feel so insulted. If you would really have a desire to learn and to come closer to Hashem, and to learn, and to develop, and to grow. So words wouldn't harm you, wouldn't hurt you so much. So they told you that you don't know how to put that feeling. Do you think that you know how to put feeling? The truth is that you really don't know how to put feeling. There was an Amora, a righteous man in the generation of the Gemara, that one time he mistaked in the way that he was wrapping the, the, the strap of, what? Wow, strap of that filin, working on my filin, working on my English, we're working on that. <laughs> so he, one time, accidentally, he, he, he was circling one time on top of the other, like he made two circles in one place, and it's not halakhically right. So he fast for 40 days to fix that thing. So you think you know how to put filin? We don't know. We're just trying to do the best that we can. The best that we can. Many mistakes can happen in the way. You want to keep Shabbat. I'm keeping Shabbat. You keep Shabbat. Yes, I'm keeping Shabbat. Is it a joke? You think you know how to keep Shabbat? Do you really think that you know how to keep Shabbat? It's written, En am Aretz Chassid. A person that is not a real student, his mind and his heart in the limud, in the learning, for years and years and years, he cannot keep Shabbat. You don't know how to keep Shabbat. Okay, you're trying. You're doing the best. That's the best thing to do. That's okay. That's good enough for Hashem. Hashem is not expecting you to become a Talmud Chacham, a genius, a righteous man, a righteous woman, a, a hidden righteous one. It, it, that's not the mission. The mission is to be honest, is to be close to Hashem. When you have that desire to learn, you will learn. And then one step will lead you to the other. And then from every situation in life, you're going to develop, you're going to grow, you're going to learn. So what? So she rebuked you, though. so he rebuked you, so he told you, so she told so what? Listen to her voice. Listen to the words that have been said to you. So she called you lazy and worthless and hopeless and, and, and disgusting. So listen, maybe you're doing something wrong. What's your problem? Why not to learn? Maybe you can fix yourself. Maybe you're not going to discuss your wife anymore. Maybe one day it's going to happen. You don't want that? If it's an option, you don't want to climb up from your laziness, from, from being so selfish and, 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 and silly, acting rude.